Etsy permanently suspended my shop, and today I'm going to share the reason and the mistakes I made that led to my suspension. I started selling on Etsy in October 2022, and my shop got banned in April 2023. I was so disappointed because my shop was going so well, and my revenue would have increased so much. I died so hard to get it back, but Etsy denied my request. First, let me clear that I didn't scam any buyers or that my customer service was bad. My shop had 4.8 stars and I had over 1300 sales. Customers actually loved my shop and I can prove it to you. Look how many visits I got in the last 30 days. My shop has been banned for almost 4 months and my customers haven't forgotten about me. And also I have a Pinterest account that still brings me visits. Ok, now let's see why Etsy suspended my shop. If you haven't watched my previous video, I sold printable posters of football players. You can see where this is going. Of course, the main reason I got suspended was because of copyright infringement, and that is correct. But there are millions of Etsy shops that infringe copyright, and they are not banned. So why did Etsy suspend my shop? Let's start with my first mistake in October 2022. You might laugh about this. My first mistake was that I tried to get the 40 free listings from a shop that belongs to me. Yes, before I made this shop, I had another one with a horrible niche and 5 listings. I saw that this wasn't going to work, so I opened this new shop. I saw that that would get 40 listings for free, and at the time I didn't know that it was so easy to find the link to another shop. So I decided to use my old shop. Of course I didn't get the 40 listings, but I wasn't bothered so much. You may wonder, what does this have to do with you getting banned? Keep that in mind, we will get back to it later. Fast forward a couple months, I got my first mail about copyright infringement, they removed a couple of listings, and I thought since they removed my listings, I should be okay now. Well, I was wrong. I got more emails, and I was ignoring them, and I still uploaded similar designs. Big mistake. The main reason I got banned is because the amount of the emails I got about copyright. But believe it or not, I don't think that the emails alone got me banned. It was late March or the first days of April that I made a serious mistake. If you remember, I said that my store had an average of 4.8 stars. And at this point, Etsy should have given me a star seller badge. I didn't get one and I contacted Etsy support to fix my problem. Pretty logical, right? Well, this was the end of my shop. They said since I had a bad behavior, they couldn't give me the badge and if I be a good boy they will give it to me. Bad behavior? The bad behavior was that I tried to get the 40 free listings from the shop that I owned. Wow, I almost stole $8 from it. I was pretty disappointed by that because I knew that if I had the badge I would have made more sales and that edge support contact led to the suspension of my shop. Etsy noticed my shop, noticed that I started getting many sales a day, noticed the potential I had, and decided a few days after to suspend my shop. My advice for you is that if you have something in your shop or done something that it does not comply 100% with Etsy's policies, then don't let them notice you. Etsy has millions of sellers and they don't know what everyone is selling. Just don't let them notice you. If your store makes a good amount of money, don't contact Etsy support unless it's something serious. Look, this video is not about exposing Etsy or saying that Etsy is bad. I think Etsy is a very good place to sell your products. If you saw my last video, I'm saying only good things about Etsy. All I'm saying is that don't put all your eggs in one basket. Etsy might suspend your shop one day and you will not be ready for that. Learn from my mistakes. Don't get 40 listings from a shop that you own. If you got emails about copyright infringement, stop immediately selling similar products and pray that they will not ban you. And don't contact Etsy support if you don't follow 100% the rules of Etsy. This channel will not only focus on Etsy, but since we are talking about Etsy, would you like me to reveal the products I used to sell? If you do, leave a like and subscribe.